That record, uh, Smeared, was was everything that you wanted from a band. Even though some of the production styles maybe on um, Smeared haven't necessarily aged as well as some of the other records, um, I still really like that record a lot. Then they came out with uh, Twice Removed, which was a, just a fantastic record. and. One of those follow-ups that you, as a, a band, I, I wish we had a follow-up like that. Twice Removed was just a big, you know, big album for me. I loved all the songs. I would drive around all day long listening to the music and play it for girls. It just verified that you love a great band. Sometimes you're not articulate, so you use an album to, to say, this is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would do it all the time with those songs for the girls, but I mean, no offense to Sloan, but it did not work. I mean, no, I didn't get, didn't work. Twice Removed and One Chord to Another were like big albums. Just those entire albums were like pretty amazing. Sloan arrived at One Chord to Another. I mean, that was when I just said, okay, well, these boys can do no wrong. I think it showed their growth and diversity. It's a very you know, concise set of 12 pop songs that showcase all four songwriters very distinctly. In a weird way, it helped me love the Beatles more. It was just such an incredible sound for a band that everyone knew to make a record that sounded like that record sounded. That was such a throwback. Um, when everything else seemingly was very polished. And then Navy Blues came out, and I think that was arguably my yeah. favorite record. That's a great record. Yeah. That's where I think they kind of went pink, yeah. and everything kind of sat and felt right. The first 10 songs on that record just blew my mind. Felt like they were writing uh, like really much better versions of Wings songs. I'm kind of stuck on Navy Blues and Between the Bridges. Those two records, back to back, are just like, that's kind of my favorite period of Sloan. Action Packed was my favorite, believe it or not. The Action Packed album is awesome um, to work out to. And um, I attribute my, like a, most of my body to that album. That was probably the soundtrack to my life that year. And, um, you know, I would just put Gimme That on repeat. And, and uh, that, that was like, man, I want to be cool like these guys. <laughs> There was a long lull after Action Pact where they didn't put anything out for a while and they set up a new space in Toronto and decided to go back to self-producing and self-releasing. Uh, hearing, hearing the double record, hearing Never Hear the End of It um, is the best Sloan moment because they were back. That might be my favorite Sloan record of them all. That record was just awesome. It blew me away. It was like it brought me so much satisfaction. Uh, happy 20th anniversary, guys. We, I don't know how you do it, because I'm not making it past the